Hi everybody, Wayne here from RV Geeking. We are near Winterset, Iowa, and we're going to do a covered bridge tour, so come along. This is the Hogback Bridge outside Winterset. The Hogback spans 98 feet over North River, which is four miles north of Winterset. While most of the covered bridges were named for nearby landowners, Hogback was named for the Hogback Ridge at the west end of the valley, its convex curve resembling the curve of a hog's back. The Cedar Bridge, previously known as the Casper or Storrs Bridge, was built in 1883 by Harvey P. Jones. The span length of the Cedar Bridge is about 78 feet. The Cedar Bridge originally crossed Cedar Creek two and a half miles northeast of Winterset on what is now Highway 169 before being moved in 1920 to its present location. The Cedar Bridge carried traffic until 1920 when it was moved to its current site over Cedar Creek and it is the only Madison County covered bridge that you can still drive on today. The Roseman covered bridge spans Middle River eight miles southwest of Winterset and was built by county work crews under the supervision of Harvey P. Jones and George K. Foster for an original cost of $2,930. It is 104 feet long, making it the longest of the Madison County bridges. The Roseman Bridge is still situated in its original location, and it carried traffic for nearly a century until it was bypassed in 1981. The bridge was renovated in 1992 at a cost of $152,000 with the help of a federal restoration grant. However, the Roseman Bridge's even greater claim to fame came in 1994 when it was featured in the movie The Bridges of Madison County, starring Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep. Clint Eastwood, the movie's producer and director, wanted the bridge to look old and in disrepair, so the crew worked hard to age the bridge. And despite the county being reassured that the bridge would look the same as it had before production, workmen had to return and repaint the bridge when production ended. we decided to take a break from the bridges and visit Winterset, the county seat of Madison County. This charming town has a population of around 5,300 at the time of the 2020 census. What is this, John Wayne Drive? Yes, Winterset is the birthplace of John Wayne. You know, the actor. This is the John Wayne Birthplace Museum. We weren't able to visit the museum the day we were there, but we did get to see the gift shop and it has everything and anything related to John Wayne. Plus it has a cool statue too. And we got to visit the outside of his birthplace. Yes, this is his real home he was born in. I mean, how would you like to be that neighbor who lives right across the street from John Wayne's birthplace? And right outside the home is Freedom Rock, a mural painted on this huge rock dedicated to the men and women who served in the armed forces.
and we ended our day with the Winterset City Park. This thing is over 76 acres and has its own covered bridge. Also, this cabin looks really nice. And this is the hugest playground I think I've ever seen. My grandkids would love it. And get this, there's a hedge maze that I don't even want to dare venture in, but it looks a lot of fun. And after a disease hit several ash trees, an artist came along and turned these into beautiful sculptures of art with his chainsaw. Absolutely amazing. And what a way to end this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out so much. Thanks and have a great day and happy camping.